Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on here and explain our next video and next adventure. Uh, we just got back from heading down to New Orleans for uh, Halloween season, October, and if you've never been to New Orleans in October, it's the first time we ever went, it is so much fun. They do have several things going on. You know, it's a city based on uh, a history of ghost tours and voodoo and all that kind of stuff. So it is fun this time of year. We really wanted to go down there to see a parade they put on for Halloween. It's called the Crew to the Boo. And if you haven't ever heard of it, this is it right here. So you can kind of look it up, the Crew to the Boo. It was October 21st this year, but sometimes it's like the Saturday before Halloween. It's a little bit earlier this year, I think. Uh, so you might want to look at it for next year and book early because the hotels kind of fill up. We stayed right down there in the French Quarter area, kind of. We stayed on Canal Street at a hotel called The Saint. And I'm going to show you a little bit of The Saint Hotel. It's part of the Marriott collection. It's actually part of their autograph collection, so it's a little bit younger, hipster type of hotel. It had the themes to the rooms. It's kind of like a the good, the bad, the temptation type of hotel. So it was kind of fun during this time of year to go and stay someplace like that. And it was real close to the parade route. Let me show you the parade route. Get it up here, so, the crew to the boo parade route. Starts right here on uh, Peter Street, North Peter Street in the French Quarters. And it comes down North Peter Street and changes into Decatur Street and then changes back into North Peter Street. But it goes up the Canal Street and down the Canal Street. And our hotel, the Saint, was right about here. So it was a really good location. Uh, and then it goes video back. because it's hard. But I did take some pictures. So, um, and there's other things to do in New Orleans in October. So, for any time, we did also a ghost tour with the Voodoo Bone Lady. And that was really fun and interesting. She did a lot of history there. I think she even took us to a voodoo shop there at the end, which was kind of scary. And then we also did a food and drink tour. And they took us to some uh, restaurants with different foods and drinks of New Orleans. And then they also told us the history of the restaurants and how some of them were part of the speakeasy time where you had to go through the back alley doors and everything. They also did a little bit of history on some dresses with the Mardi Gras and the Queen of Mardi Gras dresses. Very interesting tour. We also did a, a, a massage. So our hotel was in walking distance of everything in French Quarters and the massage place was also in the French Quarters. It was called Nolens Bliss. Nolens Bliss. It's hard for me to say. Anyway, it was right there in the French Quarters as well. I loved it. So if you ever have a chance to go down there during October, I would, I would try to do that. We just uh, got an Uber from the airport to the hotel and then an Uber back. We walked everywhere that we, we went in the French Quarters and it was fun and festive. Come and watch this video and think about next year doing it. Okay, here we are walking up to the hotel. The Uber driver left, left us out a little bit farther down because there was construction up here. But this was the Marriott Hotel called The Saint. It's part of their autograph collection and it's a young hipster type of hotel. So they had these tall, tall ceilings with these big old curtains hanging down everywhere, a bar to the side, fun little chairs in the lobby, a really cool little check-in area with blue lights. And then they had this bar to the side and this pool table area to the side, which was really fun and hopping at night. The bar had live music and like I said, it was like red and white and, and black type of bar. It was so busy at night and hopping and fun. And then they had live music down there on the stage. So it was really fun. 
And then they also had these big chairs that you could take pictures in in the lobby. This was one of my favorite big chairs. Chairs, Kim. But they also Sitting had angel chairs. Chain. One with a good angel, one bad with a bad angel uh, chair. And so I was going to walk over here and show you the good angel chair that I think I should have been sitting in. Uh, but then once I got down in, sat down, Steve decided that, no, that didn't fit me. Kim in the angel chair. I think she should be in the devil chair. Oh, you think I should be over here? There she goes to the devil chair. Mm, it was fun. And then uh, we went and got on the elevator and they had all these little fun signs. This is play naughty or play nice. And uh, it was just kind of themed that way. And for Halloween, that was just a really fun hotel to stay in. Uh, once you got off the elevator, the hallways were a little dark. They had these blue lights down the hallway, which was really cool. Um, but they were a little dark. They had all these black and white New Orleans pictures up on the doors and stuff. It was really a neat looking hotel and hallway. Uh, we were on the fifth floor, so we didn't have much of a view. We were just kind of not toward the front, Canal Street, but to the side. This is a room. It was a one king-size bedroom. Right to your left, you had a closet. It didn't have doors. It just had this curtain, this velvet curtain hanging, which is neat. And then the safe, arning, arning board. And then to the other side was a very modern uh, bathroom with one sink chandeliers for for lights which was really pretty good for those type of lights and then a shower a big shower no wand and then off to the also right side was a huge mirror which i'll show you later but here's your king bed two nightstands they had a lot of usb plugs mirror behind the bed exposed bricks by the window then your uh, teas and coffees right here on your night on your dresser and then a desk and like I said I, we didn't have much of a view but the side of Canal Street. This morning we got up to see if they found our bags because they lost our bags. American Airlines had lost our bags and of course we still at nine o'clock shows lost bags. We're hoping we reported it we're hoping that we'll get them sometime today and we did we ended up getting them about three o'clock in the afternoon so we were able to change by that time. In the meantime, we just threw on our old clothes and a baseball hat, sunglasses, and we headed down to this little cafe called Cafe Beignet. There's several of them in French quarters. It's not like the Cafe du Monde, but they do show do beignets, and it's close to our hotel. Cafe du Monde was a little bit farther from our hotel. So we headed over to this Cafe Beignet, and this is the all the pastries and breakfast foods that they had in there. Um, we, of course, wanted beignets, so we ordered three beignets with the, you know, white powdered sugar on them. That was the best breakfast of all. We've had way too many beignets on this trip, but that's what you got to do when you go to New Orleans. So we got beignets, and here's more of the restaurant. It was just a cute little restaurant right down from our hotel, so it was very easy for breakfast in the morning. And then after this, we're off to get our massage. Uh, we it was in the French quarters. It's right here in the French quarters. It was called New Orleans Bliss. New Orleans Bliss, it's hard for me to say, but it was a cute little massage area we booked in advance. Uh, and then they send us the code to punch in. And then we would go in this door and go to an elevator, and go up to the second floor, which uh, they were at the second floor. And we got a couple massage. So they uh, had a little couple's room and we really, really enjoyed this massage. Like I said, right walking distance from my hotel in the French Quarter area still. They had these floor to window, uh, floor to ceiling windows that they had opened up for fresh air. It's kind of cool. The beds were hot and warming. And uh, we had a nice relaxing massage, which we needed it since our luggage was still lost. This is the evening we got our luggage. Now we're getting ready to head down to Bourbon Street to find us something to eat. We did not have any reservations. We did not really know what restaurant we we're gonna 
eat at. We were wanting something kind of New, New Orleans style. So we were just heading down Bourbon Street and see what we can come up with. And we did find a really cute little restaurant, but they were really pretty busy. And now the street doesn't look very busy right now. It's pretty early, but the restaurants were still pretty busy and we did not have reservations. So we found this restaurant called Pier 424 Seafood Market. And we were able to at least set up at the bar. So we got right in and we went ahead and just sat there at the bar here. I'm showing you the bar. It's called the Oyster Bay Bar or the Oyster Bar. And there's Steve and I in the mirror and we wanted to try something New Orleans. And so we got off the menu, this thing called Taste of New Orleans. And it is Cajun chicken jambalaya, a crawfish etouffee and red beans and rice. And it was really good. We shared that. And plus, uh, then I also got crab cakes because I wanted to uh, see what the cap crab cakes would like. And I love this um, dressing or whatever on the crab cakes. It was very good. And then afterwards, we headed down to Cafe Du Monde finally for dessert. Of course, it's a little bit of a walk from Bourbon Street. And uh, we got right in and of course, got us some more beignets. Oh my goodness. Kimmy, look at that. You got Cafe Du Monde. Way too many beignets we had on this trip. This is in Jackson Square area, kind of. Uh, we're getting ready to go on our city food tour. This is a little French market in this area that we walked through. We're gonna talk about the history of the Pogo, okay? Then uh, from here, we're going to go to a gourmet shop that specializes. We started the food tour in this area. We had a history of the pool boy sandwich, and then we actually had pool boy. We also had a grasshopper drink that was kind of invented down in that area, she said. And we went to several different restaurant and bars uh, and she told us the history of them and the speakeasy time where you had to come in the back door. This is at Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this is a Mexican vanilla and it has been pollinated by the melatonin bees. And this was developed by a man named Warren LaRuth who was a brilliant food scientist from New Orleans who worked for Kraft Foods mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are walking down the street going to more restaurants and bars that we're going to tour. One of them that we came up on was this famous uh, restaurant and bar called Arnott's and they have a really famous drink here called a Saccharac and I did not like it at all. I thought it tasted like cough syrup personally, but I, I don't like whiskey either. And Steve really loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, you don't want to work kind of mud with you? Cough syrup. No. That um, aqua beat that we had. Cough syrup. <laughs> We also got their bean and rice. Everybody kind of makes it sometimes a little different. It's very delicious at this place. Then our last stop was a, another place that made a jambalaya and we got some more jambalaya here. It was very, very, very good. Uh, we also went to different restaurants and saw the interior of them. Uh, for evening time, it would be beautiful to eat here, but most of them required reservations, so kind of remember that. But also in the back rooms of these restaurants, they would have displays of old Mardi Gras and uh, parades and old Easter parades and all that kind of stuff. So she took us back behind there and showed us some of this. Now, which of these hats would you wear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, pick a hat. I like that one. <laughs> the green one? I do. Feathers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all Isn't pretty cool. Got feathers yeah. <laughs> now, which one would you wear? Uh, I've got all the hat I need right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So that was an Easter parade decoration of hats and everything. Then she went on to show us some of the Mardi Gras dresses made for the Queen of Mardi Gras and some other parades that were down there. And they showed us these dresses that they make for the Queen and King. Um, they go all out and these, these dresses were just beautiful. They were all different. Um, I sometimes said that it takes up to a year to make some of these. So it was really, really, um, really neat to see these behind the walls decorations and displays. Now the next morning we went to a restaurant called Pierre Masperos, maybe? And uh, this was a really good place for breakfast. We had breakfast here. And we, Steve was tired of beignets, believe it or not, so he had uh, eggs and bacon and some sausage gravy toast or biscuits. And I ended up having some crab cakes because I love my crab cakes. And so they were both very, very, very good in this breakfast area. But then in the afternoon or lunchtime, we also went to another restaurant called The World House. And this was in the French Quarter as well. And they have this thing called the Crab Crawls, which is in limber, lemon, lemon garlic butter. Very good, very delicious. It's one of our favorite things. We cannot forget this dish. It was delicious. And then we both just shared uh, another pool boy. Of course, Steve, he's taken off all his stuff on the pool boy. He doesn't, doesn't like a lot of the different stuff on it, but we shared that. And then for dessert, we had this banana foster and it came with some cheesecake and some banana bread. It was so good as well. But then after this, we headed over and did a Voodoo Bone Lady Ghost Tour. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 